okay okay sir. so let's continue from where we stop so this is the also category as a spot so the address let's assume number 23 samaru then the venue of the events legs all then the time that the event will be scheduled let's assume 12 am and the event flyer so you upload the event flyer let me use this then this one it is the event description you write everything about the event so once you are writing you can use the bold it's it's leak on the line whatever it might be so you click on submit okay it's okay okay event date that's the date, date of the event i'm very sorry i skipped this so all fields are required so submit so it's loading you can see it says events are successfully so events uploaded successfully so let's go here now to events so let's refresh this You can see the event just came developers outreach on that spot posted on so so date so that's how it works so the more you upload the more it comes then you can see the page in case this temper page so once it exists then to create another pagination that's making two so that's all about this then um also you can view events so the same thing goes to blog goes to these art events it's something similar those are the details with your matters block is just the headline the flyer and the block details that's what is being required so <coughs> sorry Also, this it has this uh, future. Just as you want to see it more clearly, just click on this um this three dot up here. So once you click it, you see it will give you avenue. You can use this to scroll by. So you can see the events you've uploaded here, D and the link. So let's as you want to share you can share directly from the home page but let's as you want to share the link to someone you can just copy it from here and send it and it will share you can also delete and update maybe you made a mistake you can also update the event from here then also same goes to blog the messages you can view messages from here you can also view doni donations and you can also uh, i think view donations and the rest do i need to follow bit so you can see through from here you can see the name of the person that sent the email the name the email then the message he sent then the date he sent so from here you can reply him directly without going to your gmail although this website needs to be hosted before um that function is going to work so this is just the demo of it <coughs> so once okay let me just uh, click on reply so that i see how it works So let me click on reply. And for this admin dashboards, okay, I'm coming. So you can see the sender's name so this is the body so you can reply the message and click send so it, it should be the view customized email that will be generated and sent to the person so so i think for this admin dashboard 
the login it is being because the password is encrypted so for security because me as the web developer it's once it is being host, hosted and you change because you are required that once I host this website you change the passwords to whatever you like the password to be so once you have changed the password I no longer have access to it and let me show you I encrypted the password the password is encrypted so even if you should this database starts from this end even though you should change the password I don't even have access because since it is encrypted so encryption means that like your normal Facebook whenever you, let's assume your password is 1234 so once you enter that 1234 they use hashing that's encryption techniques to encrypt the password so once they encrypt, encrypt it what is going to go to their database being started is not 1234 it's a, it's an algorithm to encrypt those passwords to be like text so you can see the password now the password was i used shine the light as username and the password also has shine the light but you can see the password here was encrypted so even if i sh even if one should copy this right now okay let me just give you a sample even if one should copy this here let me log out so even one sh once you use this as the username and this as the password and copy this it won't work because once you put this, it will encrypt this thing again, this uh, text, it will encrypt the string again and it will give a different result. So you can see your password is only visible to you. So let me use, okay, shine the light as username, then password. Let me copy this now for you to see how secure it is. I didn't click this well so let me use shine the light so let me just control V okay I pasted it twice control okay let me just use the paste so you can see so let's log in you can see error wrong login details but what if I use shine the light now let me copy this control C and let me paste it control yeah, so you can see so you can see it as login so all this being stored in the database is different from what you used to log in so that is the encryption technique that's being used in website for security purposes and the encryption techniques I use here is MD5 yeah so for you can also view donations from here any donation that has been made okay let me I think this should be the last um, for the block is the same thing since if I if your website is being hosted you can go through this dashboard play around with it try out stuff so that you can be able to know how this website will function fully I'm very sorry for the delay because this wasn't supposed to take much time more than this but due to since I'm using um this standard uh, share and it's standard it's stuff yeah and it's sharing the GPU of the system acceleration so it tends to make things slow 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 so the only way is to update the RAM which I'm using 4 gig of RAM so you can see you can see the names like once someone filled the donation page so that success page you see once someone has successfully paid um, the money that's the donation money in the front so it will, this status is going to change to what paid but once someone just filled the form and he didn't pay using that pay stack it will be what not paid so that's when you can be able to identify that one one has paid or not so you check your pay stack for verification so that's it so thank you very much i would like to get back from you in case there's any correction or any other thing else aside this